So let's get started with Weebly. When you first create your login, you won't have any sites here and it will prompt you right away to pick a design for your site. When you click add a site, um, it will do the same thing. I'm going to pick a site rather than a blog to get started and it asks you to choose a theme. And I'll tell you right now it really doesn't matter which theme you choose but I'll show you that on some of the themes you have a choice of colors. So you can switch colors and you'll see it doesn't change the whole thing necessarily but whatever accents are there will be changed to the color that you choose. Don't worry too much again about any of this because you can change the colors, you can change everything at a later date. So I'm going to click choose just to get us started and it's going to ask me for a domain name. I'm going to go ahead and um, claim my domain name and um, this is uh, going to say .weebly.com and this is the free one. These cost money um, and that's how Weebly makes its money so that you don't have any ads or anything which is really nice and keeps it free for you. So I'm just going to keep a subdomain of Weebly so it'll say .weebly.com and click continue. So here's my site and, and you could have also exited out of that and you can also change your domain name later on by going up to settings if you want to change it and you think of something a little more clever or something. Okay so the first thing I'm going to just talk about is the design. I can pop back into the design at any time and I can change my colors here if mine has a change in colors. I can jump back out and change the whole entire theme. Um, if that's what I want. Click back on design again. I could just change the color. I can change the fonts. So if I don't like the fonts on the site title and the navigation menu, phone number, heading, subheadline, I'm going to say I don't really like that headline style. Um, I like something that'll go upper and lower case so I can pick something else that I like a little bit better. Uh, notice I can change the size of headlines. I can change those though when I add the headline as well. And go back to change font. Notice the paragraph titles. I can get really granular on all the different changes of the fonts that I want for my site. Um, I can turn the search box on if I'm a pro user. Otherwise you'll see there's a star there. You can't do that. The social icons um, that's the Facebook and Twitter and those types of things. You can turn those off altogether or you can add your own Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn accounts, but don't put these in if, uh, if you don't have accounts because people will get frustrated clicking on them. If you want your phone number on or off, all those things can be changed here. And that's underneath the design option. One of the things I like to get rid of usually is where it says my site and let me just show you where you get rid of that. That's underneath settings and right here you can uncheck it there. Of course you could have changed the name there as well. And I just click continue and skip and it's publishing my site and then I can just come right back here to build or design and I'm ready to go on with the next step. Again you can go back to this design at any time and change the look and feel of your page by simply clicking on design and changing it up. It won't change any of the elements that you've put into the page, it will just change the design.